everybody, welcome back to Card Curiosity, where we try to find the best possible ways to make a good return on your investment in the sports card world. And today we are opening the brand new Bowman Chrome University Basketball 23 and 24. So this is the product that has Bronny James in here, his Bowman first with USC. So that's really what we're looking for for the most part. His cards are hot right now. Any kind of color, even a base, uh, we're hoping to find at least a couple good cards of him that we can grade and make our money back. These boxes go for around 25 a piece. On the blaster side, you get four pink refractors, just like football. And it's probably something like seven packs and four cards per pack, just like football. So there we go. Joseph and Will and I, we're going to unwrap these and be back in just a bit to see who can pull the best cards. All right, here we go. We've got each one unwrapped right here. And... I'll be honest, I haven't kept up with college basketball nearly as much. I wait until the tournament starts to really get into it. So I don't know a lot of these players. All I know is that we want Caitlin Clark from Iowa and Bronny James because their cards are going to be worth the most. And that's what we're looking for. We're make, looking for ways to make good return on our investments here. So I'll start first. Again, seven, seven packs, four cards per pack. So we should have 28 cards. And let's just see if we can get a Bronny and a Clark. It'd be nice if we could. Mookie, a Cook. All right, not familiar with him. I do know, I mean, there's going to be, there's definitely going to be some guys in here that are decent and, you know, we'll probably hang on to. What have we here? Cody Williams, don't know him. Another Cook. Aaron Bradshaw, I, th I do think I've heard of him. Is he good? Seven foot, plays for Kentucky. He's, seven He's a five. freshman. He's a top five recruit. I believe he might be one of the guys that is expected to go pretty high in the draft. So we'll keep an eye on him. I know, I think Kentucky has one or two guys. Uh, maybe Duke as well. Uh, there's a Buckeye. High State, man, Ohio State's basketball team. They always start the year pretty good, and then come January, they just fall apart. Scotty Middleton, he's pretty good for the Buckeyes. Spencer Jones. Here we have Mackenzie Gabaco. Gabaco. All right. Not sure about him. That's a cool looking insert, though. I kind of like that. Don't know how good he is. Tyler Burton. El Marco Jackson. Kansas usually has some good players, so we'll look look him up. He's just a freshman as well. Uh, North Carolina. <laughs> All right. Another Buckeye. We're getting a lot of Buckeyes shiny. here. How about that? That one was shiny. Is that our first girl there? Dusty Stromer. Don't know him. Is this... Uh, USC has another player that's pretty solid that should go in the first round. I don't know if that's him or not. But. All right. Okay. So there's mine. No, no sign of what I want. Joseph's going to go next. See if he's got any more luck here. So to make our money back from these, we're going to need, again, Bronny or Caitlin. We need it to be in good enough condition to grade and get it 10 on. So kind of looking for a one-two punch here. Let me get have the Wagner. He might be Kentucky. He might be a decent one. He's the cover, so. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Maybe He's that's the one. He's pretty Proctor. good. Yeah, I think I've heard of him. I thought that was a redemption. Haley Van Leith. So LSU, she's the LSU one I haven't heard of. Another LSU. Just need a little bit of a Michaela Williams. Oh, oh is he a Collier? That's, that's, the, that's guy. the USC that's the guy. guy. That's, good. that's good. I have heard of him. Oh, one right behind him, too. I hope it was Bronny. Two of those bad boys. This guy's pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Jameer Young, Maryland. Maryland's not a huge team, so I don't know. He could be. Good Shepherd. Oh, Zach Eady, there we go. Nice. Zach Eady. He's not a first. Pink, but yeah, that's all right. He uh, he's yeah. obviously going to be drafted pretty high. He's, Top what five. Is he? Seven foot four. Yeesh. Can't teach that. No, he's not seven foot four. Right? No, that's what it literally says on the card, but oh. nice try. I saw something that said he was like seven foot eight or something. <laughs> no, that's, 
little much. Maybe he grew. You never know. All right, Will's turn. He's going to wrap it up. He's going to be a good guy. Get us that first. Wendy. Oh, yeah, Wendy versus Edie. I think Wendy's going to win. Edie's so smart. So these three boxes ran us 25 each, so we're $75 in. If we get some good grades, we might be able to get the money back on a couple of those guys, but we really need a, yeah, need a Clark. That good. Or we need a uh, Bronny to really get it done. Young Evans. She might be decent. Let me take that. I don't UConn's know. Usually UConn pretty. usually has solid. Oh, number is purple. Yeah. Purple. It's a mom. Okay. Another is a collier. That's good. I'll take the collier. No sign yet. Is that memory? No. Ronnie, oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Just a base, but we'll take it. <sighs> Finally. How's it look? I don't Condition know. wise, yeah. Looks like in good shape. Here's so we got two. one. We got one we'll send in. Probably get at least a, a nine, hopefully a 10. And I bet a Brownie James 10 will go for a fair amount of money and probably make, make this back as we get close to the draft. That's the idea. Hold them to the draft. And Do you think draft I don't know, but there's going to be a lot of hype around them. And the hype is what makes the cards sell. So hopefully we can get a hundred bucks for it if we get a 10 around draft time. And yeah, we'll see how it goes uh, and update you. But until next time, stay curious.